What's up YouTube? I'm Michael and behind the camera is Ellie. We are the bill paying hobbyists. This week we're going to pair this gunmetal chrome Tempest click pen kit with a very cool white honeycomb blank. Another first for me with this style blank. It's a white acrylic resin with an aluminum honeycomb structure. I can't wait to turn this bad boy. First stop is the bandsaw to get the blank cut to the right length. Let's get to it. Here we are at the bandsaw and I have the Tempest kit two different size tubes for one blank. And I gotta get these cut down so that they match up. And I'm gonna use my little jig here that my dad made and we'll get it all cut down. All right, this works really simple. I just basically take my tube, I put it right there, take the gauge, I put it here, I rest my blank here. It will make them the same size. This gauge makes it a little bit longer, so my tube's a little bit longer, so I have room to square it off at the end. I'll show you that when we get to that point. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that one and then I'll turn it over and we'll cut the other one. Always wear safety glasses. Now that I have both of these cut with a little bit extra, I can take them over to the drill press and I can drill the right size holes. So let's go do that. Here we are at the drill press. I have both blanks for the Tempest kit, my tubes and my drill bits. Now the longer bit calls for an eight millimeter bit. The longer tube calls for an eight millimeter bit and the shorter tube calls for a 10.3 millimeter bit, but I have a 10.5, so it'll work. I'll just a little extra epoxy on there and take it easy. First thing I need to do is find my centers of my blank so I know exactly where to drill a hole. I wanna get as much meat as possible. So easiest way to do that is to take a straight edge, a pencil and line up the corners. X marks the spot. Lined up. I'm going to set that right in here. Make sure it's flat. And boom. Eight millimeter drill bit in here. Test it first, make sure it turns straight, make sure it goes down far enough. Good to go. We got a little blowout in the end. Hopefully, we will be all right. See that little blowout right there? Right there at the end. Hopefully, we'll uh, be able to hide that when we go to turn it. That's why you always leave extra in case you have something like that happen. Oh, that one did good. That one didn't blow out at all. Good to go. All right. Now we can take these over and get them glued up. All right, so we're gonna get these glued up. And if you notice, these tubes are smooth and you don't want them smooth because you need something for that epoxy. I use epoxy. I use two-part JB Weld epoxy. Not sponsored, I just love this stuff. You know, it's five minute epoxy, you mix it up for 30 seconds. You got five minutes of working time, you put it on there. It says it's ready in five minutes. I let it sit for 24 hours. But anyway, you wanna make sure that these are roughed up. So just take a piece of 20, 120 grit sandpaper, rough if, rougher if you want to, you have to and just get these scored up so that they'll hold that glue nice. I'm sorry, hold that epoxy nice and tight. Now, if you remember, this called for a 10, this one called for a 10.3 millimeter and I had a 10.5 millimeter drill bit. So I'm gonna use an extra thick layer of epoxy on this one just to make sure I get good sticky. And I may let this one sit for 48 hours before I go, just because I don't want it to blow out and fall apart when I'm trying to turn it. Enough of me jabbering. Let's get this done. I'm gonna speed it up. Now this one I'm gonna leave closer to this end because that end has a blowout in it. That way I can, when I square this off, that blowout will be gone.
Bam. We let that sit and then we turn it. All right, so today we're getting ready to turn these white honeycomb blanks for the Tempest pen. This is gonna be different, so I'm gonna have to take my time a lot. Why is it different? Because it's got an aluminum core in it, so I'm cutting an acrylic resin and the aluminum. And I gotta make sure I'm using my carbide tips so they're nice and sharp, so it doesn't, uh, it should be okay, but people have warned that they blow out sometimes. And the puppies wanna play now, play and it's not puppy playtime. But at any rate, we're gonna put it on here. I got my number two Morris tapered pen mandrel. And the number two refers to the size that goes inside the shaft on the head headstock. And then on the tailstock, I have the mandrel saver, same size. And we gotta use the blanks for, or the bushings, I should say. Special set of bushings for this pen kit. And do I need to turn them? Probably gonna turn them separately. So we'll do the smaller one first. And after doing the glue, after putting the epoxy, I still have a little bit in here, so I have to get that out of the way so that my bushings can fit inside properly. Well, I fit in that one. No glue in there. A little bit of glue in here, and I'll show you in the glue. If you can zoom in, I'll show you the glue on the inside of this side. Here's the blank, these are the bushings. Now I have a little bit of glue inside, so I have to remove that glue so the bushing will fit in there all the way properly. So to do that, put those down. Just use an X-Acto knife, very, very sharp, so be careful. And How do you know it's clean very, it up. Very, very sharp. Because I just changed it. It's brand awesome. new. Because I poked myself with it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Someone got jokes today. <laughs> glue out of that end. I don't think there's any here, but I'm going to try it anyway, just to make sure. All right. No glue there. Like that. I have a couple spacers here. They're bushings. I just put them there to get me away from the mandrel so I'm not cutting into that. And then I'll put another spacer right there. I slide over my mandrel, maybe. We'll lock it down there. And I'll tighten this up, give it a nice little snug. I don't want it too tight because it'll bend my shaft on the mandrel and then my blank will wobble and it won't be truly round. There we go. Bring in my tool rest, get it close, just not too close, just close enough for me. Make sure my tool rests about center right there and then I'm ready to cut. I'm going to run at about 3,000 RPM, nice and tight. It's going to get loud because I'm going to turn the vacuum cleaner on and I'm going to wear my glasses to protect my eyes. So loud noises, pups. So this is what I was worried about, these blowouts right here. So we're going to continue on and see what happens when we get closer to the center, it's happening here on this side too. Hopefully it won't continue. Uh, if it does, then I will have to pick a different blank. We'll have to cut it off and go with a different blank. People have done it, so hopefully it won't do it as we get closer to the center. All right. So far, so good. I'm gonna stop there, because I still have to square off the ends, and I'm gonna do the fat one. Now let's get this one around. We got a blowout right here that's just down to this next section of the aluminum core. Still got a ways to go to cut it down to get it close to the bushing, so hopefully that'll be gone. Now we're gonna square up the ends. My drill truck with a number two Morris on it. 
Thin that out. That goes in there. Hold some offset jig. Hundred and twenty grit sandpaper. All right, so I got my punch pins. And what they do is they sit right in here. Just like that. And then I sand that off, slides just like that. I'll do this at about 1200. And you can use 60 grit, 100, I have 120 grit, so that's what I'm using. And I just wanna take the blank down to the brass tube that I already glued inside that we did last time. So I get this nice and close, and lock it down so, it does, so it's nice and square, and then just sand away. And you wanna look for shiny, just like that. Shiny on that side, so now I gotta do this side. And don't do it too much, because if you do, then your blank will be too short for your pen, and your ink cartridge will be too long, and it won't ever work right. There we go, shiny, shiny, and the blowout is gone. Now we're gonna get this down as close as we can to the bushings without hitting the bushings and turn it back up to 2800. There we go. Now, we're gonna change the bushings out for plastic ones so they don't sand or cut the metal ones. There. Now, I'm gonna sand from here on out. And for that, I'm just gonna use, start with a 180 grit, take my time. And I use this, put sandpaper on, makes it nice and flat. I'm also gonna turn my lathe down to about 1200 like I did before. Because if you sand with it too fast, it gets hot and then it warps it out. So here we go. All right, after you've done it that way, you're gonna have a bunch of lines in there. So you wanna go the length of the tube, try to get rid of those spiral lines. So if you don't, when you polish it up, you're gonna see it. Next, 320. Same process. For polishing up, I'm gonna use the actual bushings just is what it is. Take my time and be careful. That's gonna be a cool looking pen, I think. For polishing up, we're wet sanding. So I wanna make sure I protect my lathe by putting down something that's gonna absorb the water instead of the metal. That right there. I got a little tub of water and I'm gonna use a six step process with my Zona paper. It goes one through six. And you can wash this stuff if you need to as many times as you want until it starts falling apart and then start over. This stuff goes from 400 to I believe 14,000. One micron, I think that's 14,000, maybe 15,000. And I'm gonna put my lathe at about 16, 
Look at that shine. All right, so we're not done yet. I'm gonna use my honey bear with some glass polish in here. We're gonna polish this up. And a nice coat of Renaissance wax. This helps protect it, fingerprints and all that other stuff. This is just a microfiber t-shirt. I think it was a compression shirt I had. Just a little bit, doesn't take a lot. Man, that's gonna be a pretty pen. All right, so now we're gonna put it together and I'm gonna do that here on the lathe. So let's take these off. I'm gonna use these two here and they just slide in here and put the big one there, this one here, and it just makes a horizontal press. Press them together. All right, let's get that over there. Do it just like that. This is the kit. It's a Tempest kit from Buford. That goes in one of these ends. This is the click side that goes on one of those ends. This is the tip that goes in one of those ends. And then this is a coupler that goes in one of those ends. And an ink cartridge. And the ever elusive spring. Don't lose your spring. If you lose your spring, it doesn't work. I'm gonna leave it in the bag right now and put that over here. Now I'm gonna put this part together first. So I need this, coupler, this male coupler and this tip. So let's get this stuff out of the way. We'll do the coupler first. And we'll find that perfect end. It really is one, they're both about the same. And one other thing I almost forgot to tell you to do, get some kind of chamfer tool, get in there and just kind of bevel the edge of your tube. It's brass, it'll wall out, it'll make it go together much easier. Okay, doesn't take a lot. So we're gonna put this in on this end, slide that on. Slide this over, get it close, lock it down, and then we just press it together until they touch. There we go. That's pressed, that's together. And then we're gonna do the same for the tip. Goes on the other side. Now, since we have somewhat of a pointy end here, take a piece of plywood, it's too thick, and put it up against here, it kind of helps. I'll put this one on this side. We'll slide this close, lock it down, slide that in there. And here we go. Make sure it goes in straight. I see a puppy. And then press it together. And there we go, that end is done. Now we're gonna do this end. And we have the female coupler and the click part. Now for the click part, you have plastic inserts in here. You don't wanna mess those up and you don't wanna make up, mess up your click mechanism. So this just slides out right there, set it off to the side, and we're gonna press that part. So let's see. I think what I want to do is match these up so that when it's screwed together, this all lines up. So to do that, we'll screw this together and then we'll find a spot where it kind of looks like it lines up. Like right about What do we think right there? Looks good. So I'll take this off. And I'll slide this together. There we go. Now, 
Let's see, I like this part better than I do this part, but I wanna hide that right there. So the cool part about that is I can take this and go just like that, press that together. And then you take your click mechanism and slide it back in there. And when the ink goes in, it'll press it together. So we take the ink, get that in there, press it nice and tight. Here's where the spring comes in and put your spring on. Now this side's a little bit wider than that side and you want it to be that way. You want the wider end towards the tip so that it doesn't come out of the end of the tip. Slide these together, screw it on, and there's our click pin. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. And I did a pretty good job lining those up. I'll finish with the Gunmetal Chrome Tempest Pen Kit. It's a click pen kit. Very smooth mechanism. I like this one. This, uh, this is pretty nice. It's by Buford Inc. I don't know how Ellie found this kit, but she did and it's great. The white honeycomb blank, take your time. If you're gonna turn one of these, take your time. Um, there were some instances where the white peeled away from the aluminum. So, but as I got closer to the center, it was more stable. I think it's just on the outer portions. Maybe it's just the way it's cast. Just take your time if you're gonna do one of these. It turned out beautifully, I like it. Smooth, I love this pen. I may actually keep this one as one of my everydays. I don't know, we'll see, unless someone wants to buy it. And if you wanna buy it, you can always you know, send us a message. We'll work something out. I can make any custom pens you want and we'll get to doing that. Being a salesman now, is that a bad thing? I don't think so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please click subscribe, share, hit the thumbs up. About 90% of our viewers are not subscribed, so click that subscribe button. We really could use the support. We'll see you next week. Please do something nice for a veteran today, and we love you.